Hey guys, it's Veronica from Me Paintings. How are you? I hope you are creating some beautiful art. Today I will be also making some lovely abstract art and I hope I will get some nice cells. So I chose some really pretty colors. I will be using white as a base. This one, white. And then I'll be using four colors. This pale turquoise blue this violet violet uh, also this lovely turquoise blue which is darker version of the first one and then this dark blue also this one and i will be putting my colors only in this teeny tiny cup so i'll be using just very small amount of colors on a white base and I hope it will create some lovely abstract art. I make my own pouring medium from glue and water. I use 60% of glue and 40% of water. I use Elmer's glue and I put it in this bottle because it's quite good because you can squeeze it in uh, really easily. And I then I mix 50% of pouring medium and 50% of acryl colors. But this time I made my white little bit uh, thicker than the rest of my colors. So white was like 60% of uh, acryl color and 40% of pouring medium. And I also put uh, one drop of silicone oil in my colors only one drop it should be enough because i'm using only this teeny tiny like teeny tiny cup it's like it's not even i don't know four deciliters i don't know okay we can dive straight into it i will pour my white all over my little canvas which is 20 times 20 centimeters i think Let's tilt it like that. Yeah, I will need much more. And now it's time to put my colors in this teeny tiny cup. I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'll first let put my little bit of my white, then my dark blue. White again. Then my darker turquoise blue. White again. Then my purple. White again. And last one will be my pale turquoise blue and white again now let's put it on my canvas my teeny tiny cup you can try to put more white around Knock knock. Now let's try. Take it off. Ooh. Now I probably won't use any heat gun because I don't want really big cells, so I will just try to tilt it and see what happens. Some lovely colors here. Let's put it back. Yeah. 
you want to cover all your edges okay okay that's some lovely abstract art I don't like this part so I'm gonna try to move my colors down there um, actually you know what let's try to use my heat gun it might create something interesting you never know it's already nice but let's try with my heat gun better that's kind of interesting abstract art yeah I chose my favorite colors I I like purple and blue and and turquoise so I wanted to create something what can be nice in your living room so look at these lovely cells Ooh, I like these very nice combination of colors very easy to do you needed only teeny tiny bit of colors and it created some lovely abstract art look at that hey guys so welcome back after three days my painting is finally dry and as you can see my cells changed the shapes a little bit but it's okay, I think it still looks interesting, but I want to make it even more unique, more interesting. So I will add my favorite water drops on my pour because I think it adds a little bit of magic into your pour, a little bit of uniqueness. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It's very easy, super easy, I think. And all of you, you can do it. Do it. You just need two things, white color, black color black acryl color or you can also use dark blue or dark green it depends on your pour but if you do this it will add a 3d effect into your painting and it will look definitely interesting so let's start i'm using these two brushes one for white color the other one for black color i'm using size one so let's decide where should I put my first water drop. I think I think it will look nice here. Like this. So let's start. Put your brush in the water and paint half circle. Like this. Make sure you paint nice round circle. I know sometimes it hard, it's hard, but it just needs a little bit of practice and you'll learn how to do that. It's a little bit difficult for me because I've got my camera in front of me, so I can't really see properly what I'm doing, but I hope you'll get the idea. Then blend your black color with a little bit of water like that and the important thing is keep the middle part visible you want to keep the middle part parts see-through because that adds that 3d effect into your bubble water drop This should be all right, but I might be working on this after my white. Let's 
It's okay now. White part, put your brush in the water, put a little bit of white acrylic color, acrylic color, and paint the other half of your circle. Like that. It's not perfectly round. Yeah, this should be all right. Now, it doesn't look interesting so far, but I promise when you blend your colors, it will look very pretty. See, it's already coming to life, your little water drop. Blend these two colors together a little bit, the edges like that, and I will need a little bit more white. And painting water drops is my favorite thing. If you've seen my previous videos, like this rainbow swipe or my soul painting you can see bubbles there as well for some reason I like this effect now your light is coming from here so you should paint a reflection here and your shade would be under here so Let's make it look even more 3D. Firstly, our shade with, with black. And a little reflection. up here with white like that see it looks nice already I just need a little bit more white down here Blend it. Yep. And now my little water drop came to life. Nice. I will continue making more water drops and I'm going to show you the results soon. So my bubbles are finished, well my raindrops, and now I've got one last thing to do. I want to make some borders which will add it even more depth and I'll be using my tape for that. So I'll just put these two tapes in here, sorry. tapes in here sorry and I want to make some like nice that. borders but I will make these edges very thin and then they will grow bigger and bigger this part will be quite dark because I want to disappear and one in here and yep that should work that should create a lovely effect so for that I will be using my black acryl color and these two types of brushes 
this one first one I will use for my thin lines and I don't want to go too much on the edge so I will probably start like here and just put a little bit of black edge in here like that and blend it with my finger Time to take off those tapes off like that. I'm just gonna give these edges a little bit more sharp shape and that should be it. And here's the result of my finished painting. And I just love how this turned out. It looks like you can pop them. Pop, 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 pop. And I've got a little surprise. I painted two of them at the same time. While I was doing this one, I also made the other one so I can match them together. And you know, you can create an amazing combination with this so it's a little tip for you when you're painting you can try to paint two of them at the same time and then have two little siblings like this well i hope you enjoyed my video i hope i inspired you to create your own beautiful art thank you very much for watching and if you like my video please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel where you can see other interesting videos thank you very much for watching and see you soon Bye.